In this short tutorial, we are gonna fix WhatsApp notifications not working on iPhone problem. Before moving on to the video, don't forget to leave a like. I recommend watching the video once before trying the solutions. The first solution is to make the necessary updates. This is important because the problem can be solved with a new update. The first update we need to do is the iOS update. To do this, we open settings and then click on general. Then we click on software update and if we need to update our device, we update it. The other update we need to do is the WhatsApp update. To do this, we open the App Store and type WhatsApp in the search bar. Then if we need to update WhatsApp, we update it. We have made the necessary updates. Now you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to the second solution. Also, don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. The second solution is to reset WhatsApp's notifications. To do this, we open WhatsApp and then click on settings at the bottom right. After opening settings, click on notifications. After doing this, we toggle off the show notifications options. Now, we will also do this in the settings of our device. To do this, we open settings and scroll down. After finding WhatsApp, we click on it and click on notifications. After doing this, we toggle off all of notifications. Now we need to restart our device. I will not do this because I am recording a video, but you need to do this. After restarting our device, we will turn on notifications. First, we will turn it on from our device. To do this, we open settings and find WhatsApp in the same way. Then we click on notifications and toggle on all of notifications option. After doing this, we open WhatsApp and from settings, we turn on notifications. Now you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem persists, we will move on to the third solution. The third solution is to delete WhatsApp and reinstall it. Before deleting WhatsApp, we will take a backup of our chats. This way, we will not lose our chats. To take a backup of our chats, we open WhatsApp and then click on settings. After doing this, click on chats and click on chat backup. If you want videos to be included when backing up, we toggle on include videos. Then click backup now to back the chats. I won't do this because I don't have this problem right now, but you need to do this. After taking the backup, uninstall WhatsApp from your device. After doing this, you can open the app store and download WhatsApp again and check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to the final solution. The last solution is to reset iPhone data. To do this, we open settings and then click on general. Then we scroll down and click on transfer or reset iPhone. After doing this, click reset. Here, if we click reset all settings, all our data will be deleted. Personally, I do not recommend this solution, but this is the solution and there are users on the Apple forum who say it works. You can try this solution to solve the problem. However, keep in mind that doing so may cause data loss. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care and see you in the next video.